Paul McQuarter's Arduino Uno R4 lessons and we're up to lesson number 10 which is about writing analog voltages and the easiest way to do this is using an LED but you need to connect it to a PWM pin and I'm using my um, project board and it just so happens I've got a PM, uh, PWM pin there um, so I don't need to worry about anything but I do need to turn it on, which is that one. Yeah, that's okay. Right, I, I've done it with two methods. The first method is using a delay, which isn't great because it kind of makes everything um, wait, the rest of the program wait while you're going so um, not great, but I just thought I'd do it because it's easy. I'm just setting the brightness and the increment and the delay. So all I do is I'm um, writing to it with the brightness, increasing the brightness. And the only thing of any interest really is that constrained um, statement, which means um, it looks at brightness and if brightness is less than naught, it makes it naught. And if brightness is uh, greater than 255, it makes it 255, which is a good way of doing it. Then, I'm, then down here, after I've um, done the right and everything, and then changed the brightness, if it's at either at the bottom, as in naught, or at the top, 255, um, it needs to change direction. So if it's um, going down and it's on naught, it needs to go fade up again and fade down. Well, yes, I will just demonstrate this. And there you can see it's working and I can increase the increment which makes it faster and I can um, increase the fade delay which makes it slower you can play about, about with it but um, no point now I've got another way of doing this without the delay because I don't like delays this one is using Nilis so instead of having the delay, I I got all the program there. No, I didn't. Right. Um, I'm just setting it up with the pin, and then in the void loop, I'm just saving um, the current time in millis milliseconds, and then I'm calling that fade LED and what it does millis um, in the fade LED what you're using millis for is that you're checking all the time to see hello is it time to fade hello is it time to fade as opposed to fading and then waiting and then fading and waiting which is what you do with the delay but I'm sure that Paul will go into um, using millis in the future so you're just saying um, if the current time minus the previous time that you faded is greater than the fade period um, you want to do the business so you increment the brightness and as before you're constraining the brightness between naught and 255 and writing out the brightness and then if you, as before, if you're going um, up when you're on 255, you want to go down. And if you're on naught and you're going down, you want to go up. Hopefully that will work. That seems to be working exactly the same, which is lucky. Right. Now, this final program is just an aside that I thought, ooh, I lost one of the programs, I closed it. Right, 
Uh, this one isn't actually doing what Paul wanted. What it does is it starts off with the LED off and then it increases the brightness until it gets to full brightness and then it starts again at zero. And this is just something that I thought of um, because a byte, if you if you save um, brightness in a byte, that means it can have a value of um, 0 to 255. And this is quite handy because that's the value of the LED. So if you're just adding to the brightness, when it goes off the end, you, if it's 254, yep, 255, yep, then you add one again, 256, but it falls off. Um, it's the most significant bright, so it falls off, so it's naught. So this is great. If you want to count um, up to 255, you just put it in a byte and everything takes care of itself. But you can't make it... Um, th this program is so simple, I'm not making it go up and down, up and down. I'm just making it go up, up, up. So this is very simple. See whether it works. Yep, that's exactly what it's doing. Right, not a solution to this homework, but just I thought it was interesting. That's my video.